Well, welcome back. This is week eight, nine. I don't even know anymore. It's been two months since I had my surgery and I'm out the boot. I started physical therapy. I can walk with shoes everywhere. I'm walking without the limp. This update gonna be kind of short. I've been to physical therapy. This is my second week of physical therapy. I'm just getting straight to the point with it. A lot of developments. So week one physical therapy, you'll see that video. It's just like, hi, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. I didn't film the, the full session, just talked about it after. So hi, how are you? They test your range of motion, general strength, and then they start you on like, okay, let's see if you can do seated calf raises, blah, 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 blah. That's week one. Uh, then I got the heavy duty massage from my other physical therapist, Brian. That dude got some bony knuckles, bruh. Legs was hurting. <laughs> Oh, this is week three physical therapy then, because I did week one, then I came back on the Saturday after I got back from vacation, and then, okay, this is week three of physical therapy. They had me doing squats, like body weight um, bench squats, so down to the bench, 90 degrees, back up, uh, kind of like walking on the curb. They have like a foam curb stopper type thing that you walk on, and you're supposed to do like ankle stability, things like that, so I had to do those. What do you want, Bella? What do you want? I had to do clamshells, if you know what those are. Not for me, um, but they help with the hips. I had to do uh, leg lifts sideways, what I forgot what they're called. Um, they had me doing calf raises on the total gym at an angle. So it's not full body weight. I can do assisted um, standing calf raises, but I kind of get sore. Like my calf is working. Yes, my calf is obviously working now, but you feel it more at the, um, the site where the tendons have been like sutured together. You feel it more there, honestly, for a little bit. Um, but once you get more of your strength back, um, and once that scar tissue starts to, you know, come off, then you're able to feel it more in the calf. Uh, now they have me doing like weighted seated calf races. So I had like a, like a 25 pound or 20 pound bag on my knee. And I was just doing like seated calf races. Three sets of like 20 or something like that. That John was burning. And then I had to do uh, single leg squats on the total gym. That was difficult. But for saying this is week eight, like I'm doing, dang, did you, you good, bro? You failed, bro? She didn't even bother trying to get back up. Uh, focused more on um, stretching the hips. So I would cross my legs like this and do a single leg squat. So stretching out the opposite hip and putting the weight on the balls of my feet to do the squat. What else? I already forgot what else we did. <laughs> Ankle pull aparts, like you put your feet like this and then they put um, a, a, like a figure eight band and you do this with your feet. And that's pretty much it. A lot of it was is like between you doing the heavy stuff, which is the body weight squats, the total gym squats and the calf raises on the total gym. When you go from doing like the light stuff and the warm up and eight bikes, eight, eight, eight to 10 minutes on the exercise bike to like doing the heavy stuff. They do like a deep tissue massage to start wearing away at that uh, scar tissue. Here's a clip from my doctor's appointment. I actually have my final follow-up with my orthopedic surgeon yesterday, which was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday the 29th was my last follow-up with my orthopedic surgeon. He said everything looks good. Here's a clip of that. It's basically him going over the stuff that was there. How are we doing? I'm doing. I can show um, this walk. Can I see you walk? Very nice, very nice. It's just a little tight because I did PT yesterday, so. Okay, so you're PT a couple times a week? Yeah, twice a week. Can you cross your leg like that? So, um, okay, so it feels very, very hard. That scar tissue, that's normal. Yeah. That's gonna remodel and loosen up over time, but it can take another six months, so. Yeah. Um, you can start to stretch a little more aggressively, and uh, you know, basically, it's about getting your range of motion, gentle stretching, and then strengthening, that kind of thing. So a therapist will kind of take you through it. Um, but um, I think you're, uh, at this point, things are healed. It's just remodeling. Right. So um, the only thing you need to avoid is anything kind of explosive, like, you know, jumping and landing, pushing off quickly, kind of, you know, um, anything kind of sudden. Cool. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it should be better and better every week. Cool, sounds good. Okay. So um, you can, uh, yeah, so continue with physical therapy. If everything is going well, you don't really need to come back and see me. Your return to sports, let's say, um, I would say um, would be probably at the, like the, like something like basketball, let's say. Right. Would be like, you know, probably like, you know, five months, something like that, on the day of surgery. Cool. Yeah, see how it goes. Awesome. You're gonna be, yeah, I mean, you're gonna be apprehensive about it and not want to do anything, so, you know, um, but usually it's kind of zero to six months, and then you get back and do whatever you want. Right, cool. Um, but, uh, uh, looks good. Cool. Thanks, man. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, if you have any concerns or problems. So yeah, 
celebration time i don't have to wait a whole year to play basketball apparently i think it's just more of the high competition like if i want to play comp like if i want to go like 21 0 kenny well that's not comp i could play kenny right now and still win <laughs> if i want to go like fly to long beach and play against dev right that would be at the year mark because that's comp that takes a different level of explosiveness i just won't have it six months but i will have the strength to just play like 24 hour fitness dads who, you know, they work in finance and they get off, they change in the locker room, and they come play ball. Like I'll be able to play some 1v1s and stuff like that and some team ball once I'm able to run. But in terms of like high competition ball, bruh, it ain't happening until like March. But I will be back on the court January playing games. I'll be training my brother. Well, I'll actually have a training video with my brother coming up next week. We'll probably film it. And then it'll be out sometime after that. So yay, clap it up for your boy because I ain't got to wait a year. Y'all don't have to wait a year. There's going to be basketball videos, but the 1v1, I have one 1v1. <laughs> And I haven't been able to release it. You know why? Because I can't move around. So it's like, I want to release it when I can't move around. Probably not. I'm going to just wait till I can at least run. I have a gym vlog coming up. I have all these Achilles videos. Reactions, they're good for views. I, you can ask anybody. I have to really be in the mood for a reaction and I really have to like enjoy the person's content. So the next chapter I'll watch, Marcellus Howard, D Friga, like all of them, I'll, I'll react to stuff like that. Cash Nasty, I only react to him because he makes me laugh because he's so bad at basketball and Kenny and flight. Like those are more that like, okay, they put me in a good mood, but like, I'm not just gonna react to everybody who plays basketball. It's not advantageous. You like the light? Hey, shout out YouTube. Hey, they uh, replied on one of my shorts. Appreciate you YouTube, best boss ever. Use code Chris Can Hoop at inthelab.tv. Get you $5 off your orders. I think the Beaker shirts are back on, on sale. Am I right, Dev? Is that? Is probably not they probably sold out anyway that's all i got for you bro i'm getting stronger every day at eight weeks most people at eight weeks are barely getting their boot off most people at eight weeks are like barely start they're not even starting physical therapy a lot of people start physical therapy at 12 weeks i'm at eight weeks eight or nine weeks i'm already in my third week of week of physical therapy and already able to do like calf raises. Shout out Dr. D, bruh, for putting me on early weight bearing. Cause I, I see, I read, a, I read some medical articles sometimes. Early weight bearing is the way to go if you're an athlete. I trust you, I guess, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one, bro. And these will probably be bi-weekly videos cause I don't feel like editing all the time. You feel me? The thumbnail is the hardest part.